Imagine building a web app that makes over $40,000 a month without writing a single line of code. Does this sound impossible? Let me show you how the Promoter Kit did it. They have over 40,000 users, and if they pay only $2 per month, it'll become a million dollar business in a year. And what kind of service they are providing? It's a simple AI-powered web app. You can also create this kind of web app and host it on your website. And here's the best part. You don't need to be a tech genius to do it. In this video, I'll reveal how anyone, yes, even you, can use no-code tools to create apps, attract customers, and turn ideas into cash. Ready to see how it works? Let's dive in. Now how do you actually build an app like PromoterKit.com without coding? Meet VectorShift, a tool that lets you create powerful web apps with drag-and-drop simplicity. Think of it like building with Lego blocks. Pick features, connect them visually, and hit publish. No servers, no complex setups. Just your idea, brought to life in minutes. Okay, let's create our own web apps. First of all, we have to create an account on VectorShift. I will put the link in the description. Once you are on this page, click on Get Started, and then create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will look like this. Here, you can see all the previous pipelines I created earlier. At the left of the page, you will find some tools to create knowledge bases, files, various interfaces, and more. To start creating a web app first, we have to create a proper pipeline. So, come back to the Pipeline Builder tab. To create a new pipeline, click on New from here. After coming to this page, click on Create a Pipeline from here. Okay, this is the Pipeline Builder interface. Now imagine we want to create a bot or web app where we will provide a YouTube video link and the OT will analyze the video and write a new and unique script for us with a clickbait title and keywords. Let's see how we can do it. First of all, we have to add an input node. Here, at the top of the interface, you will find all kinds of nodes. I am adding the input nodes. After adding the nodes, we have to select the input type. You will find a bunch of options like text, files, images, audio files, and even a knowledge base. As our input will be a YouTube URL, I am selecting text and then renaming the input as enter the YouTube link. Here in the output section, you will find text as the output. If you select file or other types of input, you will get different options. We need the text as the output. So, I won't make any changes. Okay, our input is set. Now we need a data loader so that we can get the video transcription. Navigate to the data loader section from here. Here, you will find various data loader nodes. At this time, we need the YouTube data loader. I am selecting it. Okay. Now we need to insert the YouTube URL to create the transcription. So, I will connect the input node's output with the YouTube URL input. Now, if we insert a YouTube video link at the input node and run the pipeline, it will generate the transcription. But we want a refined and unique script. So, we need to add an LLM model. Come to the LLM tab from here. Vector Shift allows you to use OpenAI, Anthropic, Cohere, AWS, Google, Azure, Perplexity, Grok, and even custom LLM. You will also get a vast number of open source LLMs like DeepSeek, Llama, and others. This time, I will use the OpenAI LLM. After adding the LLM, set the perfect model from here. I think that to rewrite a script, GPT-40 Mini will be perfect for me. You can use anyone. Now at the top, you will find two boxes to enter the system instruction and the prompt. In the system instruction, we have to mention how the LLM will react, and in the prompt section, we have to create variables for the input. Okay, for the system instruction, I already wrote a detailed prompt. I am entering the prompt here in this box. Don't worry, you will get all the prompts used in this video on the Discord server and Telegram channel. The link will be in the description. Okay, after entering the instruction prompt, come to the prompt section. Now, to create a variable, Click on the plus icon from here, or simply type double curly brackets in the box. Now you will find all the output variables we have created in this pipeline so far. We have to choose the YouTube variable. After selecting the primary variable, choose the output method. Okay, now look at the output section of the OpenAI LLM. We have multiple options. However, we don't need any tokens or credit output at this moment. We need only the response text output. To view the output, we need an output node. I am adding an output node from the general tab from here. Now I am renaming it as script. 
Next, set the type of output. You can choose between text, image, audio, and more. As the script will be in text format, I am selecting text. Now, come to the output box and create a variable. Select Open AI and then Response. You can see the Open AI and output nodes are now connected. OK, our pipeline is ready. Now if we run the pipeline, an interface like this will appear. Let's try this pipeline. I am entering a YouTube video link. Then click on the Run button. The pipeline has started working. And here it is. You can see that we got a fresh and new script. Now, we can create a video from this script. All right, our pipeline is working perfectly. Now the question is, how we can deploy this pipeline on our website? To do that, first, save the pipeline. After that, come to the right top corner of the page. Here, you will find an icon called Export. Click on it, you will find four options. Chatbot, Form, Voicebot, and Bulk Jobs. As we want to publish it as a tool on our website, we have to select the form option. Now, give a name to your form, and then hit the Create Form button. OK, this is the form customization interface. We have to customize the form to make it professional. First, set the name of the form. For example, I am typing, Rewrite Script. Next, in the description, I am typing. Please enter the video link in the URL box. After that, you can add a custom logo for your web app. On the left side, you will see a live preview of your web app. OK, now in the same method, customize the input, output, and onboarding page. After that, you will find the advanced settings. Here, you can customize the style of your form, including color, font, size, and more. After that, you can customize the button style. In the end, you will find a chat with output options. You can turn it on. Once all the settings are done, hit the Deploy Change button, and then hit the Export button. And here it is, the form is now published. You can copy the URL and share it with your friends. You can see the form is working perfectly. But the question is, how we can deploy it on our website like Promoter Kit? Let's have a look. If you want to publish it on a WordPress site, just add this iframe to your website. After logging into your WordPress dashboard, create a new page. Now, give a name to the page. After that, in the block settings, create an HTML block. Now simply copy the iframe code and paste the code here in this box. Once done, hit the Publish button. And here it is. Our web app is now live. Let's try the app. I enter the URL and hit the Submit button. And here it is. You can see the new script is ready. That's amazing. Now, in the same method, you can create apps like YouTube title, keyword, description, thumbnail generator and more. In fact, I already have a video of them. You can watch the video from the end screen or the I button. So now you can create any kind of AI-powered web app and deploy it on your website and make money by monetizing them. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that I would love to hear your opinion about Vectorshift AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!